morning. Hope everyone had a good weekend. This was to say. And I'm briefly going to speak about honesty and bias in this video. When it comes to, you know, wanting a, a game or a match to be exciting and whether you have that same feeling if it was a team that you were watching that you support so um, in my personal case um, I'm an Arsenal fan so if I'm watching a Premier League match that's not Arsenal I want, it, I want an exciting game I want the game to be fun I want it to be goals I want it to be skills I want it to be you know good tackles I want an exciting cage game a 2-2 two, two, a 3-3 three, three, a 3-2 two, a 2-1 two. Um, two, score can be exciting as well but you know it's, it's not the most goals it's you know you know three goals it's not the most it can be exciting but you know Ideally speaking, I, I like the result to kind of reflect reflect that, that the game was exciting as possible and I think the best way that a scoreline can reflect that is if it's above four goals, so above a 2-2. Two -two. Um, now, two, and, and, and two nil can be exciting as well, you know. The point is, the point I'm trying, I'm, I'm trying to get to is this. Now, now, unless it's Spurs or Man United in particular, you know. Now, obviously, I want those two teams to lose because I have a strong dislike for both those clubs. But outside of that, I want a fair, exciting game, exciting match. But if it's Arsenal, I'll be honest. I want the game to be as boring or lopsided as possible in our favour. A two, three, four, five nil win to Arsenal, yeah. Because okay, yes. Like I said before, from a neutral, from a neutral eye, from the neutral point of view, we want an exciting game. But if it's our own teams, if it's someone who we support as a fighter or, or, or a team that we support, we don't want that match to be close. You do not want a close game. Period. And I'm sure many people watching this would agree with me you do not want a close game at all because it could end in a loss and you, you just don't like being given that false hope that you can get something from this game that you can get three points from this game and you just end up losing in the dying seconds it really kills you it honestly just kills you in the end all the emotional roller coaster. It's like, oh my god! Like the other day, for instance, yeah. Arsenal won three two against Bournemouth. We were one 0 down after nine seconds. Nine seconds. It was a poor goal, to, a poor goal to concede, by the way. And then, then they went two 0 up. We were two 0 down afterwards, in the second half from a corner. And now eventually we got back into it and won the game, but it was at the dying moments. And yes we won but I just do not like that feeling of being through an emotional roller coaster. honestly I hate it because it's just added on stress that's not needed to be honest to be quite honest because when I say it's not needed for me I am a bit jealous of people who are not sports fans because not that, the, not that their life is stress free they don't have the added stress of being an emotional, of being, of being emotionally attached to a certain player, or to a certain fighter, or to a certain team, where it's like it's not a thing that's going to disappoint them in the end. They don't have that that, that added stress, that add that added emotion, that that added emotional barrier that they have watching their own team that they support or a fight that they support they don't, they don't have that that added you know um, what's the word I'm looking for that added weight that 
back had the emotional weight of watching a team that they love so much being battered or just losing a close game. They don't have that. They don't, they don't have that with them. And I wish I was them, but but it's too late for that. You know, I've been supporting Arsenal for my my, my whole life practically. So honestly, if we're all being honest here, yeah, if it's our own, if it's our own teams that we support. We do not want a close game. We want the game to be as boring as possible. As boring as possible. We do not want any close games. Especially when we lose in the end or draw even. Because even a draw is a draw for a draw might as well be a loss in my, my opinion. That's how I feel. Um The fact is there's only to a certain degree we want an exciting game but not when it comes to our, to our own teams that we support that's the whole point of this video that I'm trying to make we do not want a close game when it's our own team that we that we love and support and that we cherish we want it to be as boring lopsided in our favour when we smash the, the, the other team 4-0, 5-0, whatever 3-0 you know, we, we want it to be as boring an easy, relaxing game as possible. Period. A clean sheet. Done, dusted. Move on. That's, that's, that's the ideal scenario, but that's not always the case. You know, life doesn't always go your way. You don't always get what you want in life. And so, I'm just trying to just echo just how I feel about this. How I, how I feel about you know, an exciting game. You know, like, do we want it or not for for our own teams? Personally, I'll say no. I don't want it for my own team. And I'm sure other people would agree with that. We would rather have a boring, lopsided game in our favour. But that's not always the case. And like I said before, you don't always get what you want. And so, I'm just... I'm just making the point that we have a certain this this we have a certain bias bias, and this only emphasizes the personal bias that we have towards our towards our own teams, towards or towards fighters that that we love, love and we follow in boxing and MMA. So yeah, man. I mean, I just I just I just can't take the emotion, emotional roller coaster. Especially when we lose, especially when Arsenal lose, I just can't take it. I, I I can't, I can't handle it, man. It kills me, man. Honestly, I just, I can't, I can't be asked to just go through this emotional, emotional roller coaster. That's why I've been trying to avoid the Arsenal games personally because I just can't go through it with this team. That I'm suffering from PTSD from all the disappointments in the past seasons, and so I just want to just avoid Arsenal as much as possible so that I don't so that I just don't go through that emotional roller coaster because like I said like I said before we don't like close games when it comes to the teams that we support period and I'm sure most of you would agree with that and, I'm, and I, I hope I hope I've been straight to the point that's all I have to say take care God bless